Thank you for watching us on YouTube. But did you know that if you're on the go, you can get the full show as a podcast now? You can get our morning breakdown of the most important topics facing our country, news not being covered by the mainstream media, interviews with change-making progressives, and info on what you can actually do about all this. Search for The Damage Report on your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you know when new episodes are ready to go. One thing I do want to touch on is uh, the opening statement of Christine Blasey Ford. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think about that? I underestimated how difficult it would be to listen to her opening statement, and you can really hear the pain in her voice. And what I thought was, you know, interesting was the reaction from people on social media. I think the vast majority of reporters and of course people on the left were horrified at the accusations, felt a lot of empathy for her or sympathy for her. But then you would see a lot of commentary from men in particular who identify as members of the right, mm -hmm. thinking that she's really playing it up. You know, her voice was cracking the entire time. You can, you know, and they thought that it was all an act. Mm -hmm. But what I love is it seems as though um, on the down low, there are some Republican lawmakers who are concerned about how credible she sounds, including mm -hmm. possibly the President of the United States. Yeah, yeah so we're gonna get to that in a minute. Um, yeah. I also wanna say, uh, I, I don't know how you can have listened to her talk about it and think, yeah, she's lying. Yeah, I, well- who, Who's that good of an actress? It's not Meryl Streep testifying, during, she's not lying. During the live coverage, uh, TYT coverage of the hearing, Jenks said something that I think is really important because he talked about how he viewed the Anita Hill testimony through a very specific lens. And that lens was through a conservative lens. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you look for anything that could possibly reinforce your preconceived notions. Yeah. And I think it's important to keep that in mind. Now, there are people who listen to that and they thought, oh, she's she's just acting. I don't find her credible. Mm -hmm. But my gut instinct, and again, I don't have numbers, we don't have numbers, we don't know for sure what percentage of people believe her, but from what I'm seeing out there, most people seem to believe her. I think so too. Um, I mean, there will be some people who, I mean, they're not gonna believe anything. And it's not like they think she's lying, that implies that they're thinking. Mm -hmm. They just say that she's lying. Right. And they don't care, they just don't care. And there will be more people saying that than thinking that. And the reason I say that is, um, I got some, I've been tweeting, I've been live tweeting it. Mm -hmm. And so I've gotten some comments back and I saw one from a guy who was like, no evidence, she's lying, why do you believe her or whatever. And I, and I clicked on his account and it was, you know, full name, picture, looked like it was maybe a lawyer or something. And the account had been started 11 hours ago and it had like six tweets, all with lots of like likes and retweets, all mm -hmm. saying that she was lying. Mm -hmm. No, you don't, you don't start an account and then the next hour you get hundreds of people responding to a poll that you did. There's obviously organized bot activity As, going against Christine Blasey Ford. Yeah, of course. Sophisticated, by the way. It's, it's what you can expect from social media, which is why you should take social media with a grain of salt. Um, you should make sure that you're following people who are verified when you're getting your information, mm -hmm. or at least when you're getting you know hot takes or opinions, because there is a lot of manipulation going on. I'm I'm seeing that as well, mm -hmm. and it's really it's sad. It's sad because right now um, you know any effort to try to sway public opinion in either one way or the other using these manipulative tactics is just disgusting. This is a serious case. Yeah. First off, it's serious in that you know Brett Kavanaugh could be the next Supreme Court justice who hands down decisions decisions that affect all of our lives. And it's also serious because there is a possible sexual assault victim involved, possibly several sexual assault victims involved. Yeah. This shouldn't be about politics. Unfortunately, it is. Unfortunately, we are seeing politics on both sides. But I want everyone to just get rid of your political leanings and just try to look at this through the lens of someone who is making a serious accusation against yeah. someone else who will be making Big decisions about our lives. Yes, as we keep coming back to, he will be given as much power effectively as anyone else in the world has, more right. than almost anyone else. The president has more temporarily, but then in two or six more years, the president's gone. He'll still be there. He'll be for decade after decade. He'll be making all those kids you see that that he brought. They'll be grown women, and they'll still be affected by the decisions of uh, of Kavanaugh. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. 
If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.